Georgia. Protests now leading to arrests after pro-Palestinian groups rallied on different campuses. So far, there have been protests at four colleges here in the metro. And breaking just into our newsroom tonight, one of those schools, Emory University, just sent out some changes they're making on campus due to the protests. I'm Blair Miller. And I'm Sean Gables. In light of the recent protests, the school has now added more lighting and cameras. More officer patrols have been added. And building entry now limited. All of this to keep students safe. Emory says police issued trespass warnings to six people not affiliated with the school. A convicted felon from North Carolina also arrested, found with knives and pepper spray. Tonight, team coverage at Emory and the University of Georgia in Athens. First, let's bring in Atlanta News First, Bridget Spencer, live at Emory, where tensions remain high. And Bridget, you've been watching for a vote tonight against the school's president? That's right, the Student Government Association is holding a meeting to decide if they want to hold their own vote of confidence or no confidence in Gregory Finvez, the president here on Emory University's campus. And I was just told that they just now introduced the legislation in their meeting. So this meeting could very well go late into the night. And this is all unfolding as protests continue here on the campus as they did earlier today. Occupation. It's now the sixth day of protests on Emory's campus. Things were peaceful Tuesday. I have a right to be here! Stark contrast from what unfolded last Thursday. We have to keep up this momentum and this pressure on our higher education institutions, but really all institutions across the country demanding an immediate ceasefire. This comes on the heels of last week's protest when 28 people were taken into custody, the majority of them being students and faculty members. Damn, I this. Now, faculty and students are calling for changes in leadership. Sean Mehu is with the College of Arts and Sciences. There's currently a motion of no confidence that's been uh, open to um, vote by the entire college faculty body. I'm very confident it will pass. I've cast my vote for no confidence. The professor says he will support his students, whatever it takes. We're doing what we can to make sure that um, our students are protected as far as we're capable, that their right to uh, free speech. Mayhu says faculty at his college have until Friday to finish voting. Meanwhile, the Student Government Association is also considering allowing the student body to vote on their confidence in President Gregory Finviz. The group declined an interview with us Tuesday. President Finvez said in a statement, quote, I take Thursday's events very seriously and we're launching a thorough review of them so that we can develop recommendations to improve how we keep our community safe. Although Monday was the last day of classes, there was still plenty of action on campus Tuesday as the school year winds down. The fact that across the nation you have this violent police crackdown on peaceful student, student protesters. It's our responsibility as faculty members to step in and protect students when we can. We will not stop. We will not break. Now, it is also important to note that only the Board of Trustees can remove the university's president even after a no confidence vote. We're live from Emory University. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. Students